This is Introduction to Java Programming and Data Structures, Programming Exercise 5. And in this exercise, we're going to compute expressions. So we're going to write a program that displays the results of 9.5 times 4.5 minus 2.5 times 345.5 minus 3.5. So we're going to take all of that and we're going to compute it. So how are we going to do this? Well, in Java, mathematical expressions can be written inside print method. The print method will take the math mathematical expression and calculate it for you. For example, we're going to take the expression, we're going to plug it into this print method, and it's going to display the result. It is as easy as that. Now, for uh, for this exercise, there's actually something a little more to that than just simply uh, printing something out. We have to understand how this works. And there's this thing called operator precedence in Java that we should know about. So let's see. Java has well-defined rules for specifying the order in which the operators in an expression are evaluated when the expression has several operators. In this case, this multiply minus is considered an operator. So which one goes first, the multiply or the subtraction, which happens first? So as we can see right here, it says multiplication and division have a higher precedence than addition and subtraction. So what is the result of 9.5 times 4.5 minus 2.5 times 30, 3, 4, 5.5 minus 3.5? Well, it will follow this rule as we do here. So we got this entire expression right here, or right here. And the first thing that we do is, is that we actually multiply 9.5 with 4.5. So 9.5 times 4.5, the result is 42.75. And we're gonna take this whole thing, right? This 2.5 down, right? So now we got the result of 9.5 times 4.5, which is 42.5. And it's now subtracted by 2.5 times 3, 4, 5.5, minus 3.5. So what happens next? As you can see, there's still a subtraction, multiplication, and another subtraction here. And if we were to follow this rule here, it says multiplication and division have a higher precedence than addition and subtraction. So that means this will run first before we subtract. So we won't be subtracting 42.75 subtracted by 2.5 first, We'll actually be multiplying 2.5 times 345.5 before we do the subtraction. So there, with that, we'll have 42.75 minus the result of 2.5 times 345.5, and that's 863.75. Finally, we bring that 3.5 down. And now we could do the subtraction. We don't have any multiplication or division left, so the highest precedents have been uh, completed and now we could continue with the rest. So we got 42.75. We will do left hand side first. We run left hand and then we continue with the right. Start from the left and move to the right. So that means 42.75 gets subtracted by 863.75 first. The result of that is negative 821 minus 3.5 and the final result is eight, negative 845.5. So in Java, hopefully what you take from this is that when you're computing mathematical expression and you are uh, inputting your mathematical uh, uh, expression uh, into the print method or however you're doing it, know that Java will be using their own standard of precedence um, to calculate, which is very similar to what we're, or pretty much the same to, or in most places, I would say, uh, we'll follow this rule uh, similarly like this too. So it shouldn't be too much of a confusion for you when tackling this. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to IDE, create our Java class, programming exercise five, right? We're already on five. Programming exercise five, and let me just grab this compute expressions, paste that here. All right, 
write our main method, public static void main, click enter. I'm going to comment this out. Uh, I'm going to comment what I have to do in here in a block code like this, like so. There you go. Nice and organized and dented properly. So that way we could see it nicely. Now this is actually pretty simple. We're going to use system class, use out, use the uh, the out variable, use the print method, the print line method I prefer. And normally we will write this inside a double quote, but we only use double quotes when we're writing a string, but we're not writing a string this time. We're calculating a mathematical expression. So let me show you what happened when we put it inside a string. So let's say we put it inside a string and we run it, right? What we'll see, well, Java will just display it for us. So sure, no problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm going to say equals, and then I'm going to put this plus sign here. Now that's where you might get confused. Why am I putting a plus sign? Well, that's to let Java know that you're concatenate, concatenating this string with something else. And that is with probably, possibly another string. In this case, it's not exactly a string. It's more of a mathematical expression. Of course, it doesn't know what this X is. So we're going to place that with an asterisk for Java to know that, and, uh, that we want to multiply. And what we're going to do is we have to put this mathematical expression inside a parenthesis if we're doing something like this. Um, Actually, let me show you how it looks like before we do that and why we're doing that. So if I were just to put the mathematical expression in here, uh, I wouldn't be writing another parentheses. I mean, I could, Java has no problem with that if you do that, but you don't have to. Now you could just simply paste it like this and Java will calculate it for you. So when you run this, you get negative 80, uh, negative 824.5. So that is exactly how we calculate it. But um, what I want to show you before that is this. So you get a result like this. Negative 824.5 and that's because I put it in the parentheses. So what happens if I don't put it in the parentheses? I'm going to get an error message. And that's because this concatenate, you need to have a concatenate with, um, with each of this. You're gonna have to put a concatenate every single time and that's gonna cause a lot of trouble. You don't wanna do that. You just wanna say, hey, I wanna concatenate this entire thing right here. So, hey Java, I want you to help me calculate this and then I want you to uh, concatenate it with this string right here to help me display the final result. Could you do that? Uh, and then Java's like, sure, if you put this concatenate sign right here, I'll know what to do. And that's why I wanted to show you that. That's I want to show you without it so you could see how it looks like without it and then with it and why it is required, All right? So when you want to, when you leave this double quote and you want to ask something else, always add a concatenate with what you want to display. If you display multiple things and they belong together, put it inside a parenthesis. Now, uh, onto the order of precedence. As you can see, it actually followed what I said it would do. It calculated the multiplication first, then it did the subtraction, and that's why we got 824.5 as the result. And it doesn't matter which order you put it in, as long as you have a multiplication, it will calculate it first. And it will calculate from left to right. So why don't we change this up just a little? Hmm. Why don't we put this calcul put this multiplication uh, right here? Of course you're gonna get a slight um, a different result. And that's because you calculate this multiplication first, this multiplication, and then you calculate from left to right. So then it will subtract this solution 
with this solution and then do a final uh, subtraction right there. So you get 817.5, this time you get a positive number. All right, so practice your order of precedence, play around with the number and you will get this different result depending on the order of operation and the uh, operator's precedence. Right? Is that what's it called? <laughs> Operator precedence, yes. All right, so that will be it for this programming exercise.